so one of the things we often get asked about at Dorks Music is the best way to try out instruments. And I'm going to give you our top five tips to trying out instruments, specifically clarinets. So the first thing, when you're trying a new instrument, I would always try it out initially with your existing mouthpiece and reed, so that at least you've got a setup there that you're comfortable with. Tip number two is I would always compare it with your existing instrument. You want to make sure that you are actually buying an instrument that you prefer to your existing one um, and that you're not just preferring it because you're kind of playing it in a different room or something. Now, once we get onto the actual testing of it, one of the really important things to check for is the tuning um, and the intonation. Um, it's great, for example, to start off trying a few octaves to see how well they are, they are in tune with each other. <laughs> Um, and in particular on clarinets, sometimes it's worth checking around the throat note area. You might have spotted when I played the G then, I actually added some extra keys, which is just a habit of mine because I know where the tuning on my clarinet is. Um, I actually use slightly alternative fingering for the throat notes, but they tend to be some of the problematic areas around the clarinet. Sometimes they can be a little bit sharp, um, so you'll either have fingerings you use for them or you'll just want to check where they are kind of on the instruments you're getting around here, kind of the... Um, sort of area. Now once you check the tuning, um, you want to check the sound you're getting across the whole range of the instrument, kind of right from the bottom of the instrument all the way up to the top. Um, so it's always good to try some low notes. <laughs> check that they're all working nicely and then up to the top as well kind of um, so you can hear on this clarinet they're all speaking really great um, and uh, kind of going with that as well you want to check all the different dynamics um, to check the instrument's going to respond as you want kind of. So are you able to, for example, start a note from nothing, go right up to a forte and then decrescendo back away with the instrument kind of staying fairly in tune, giving you the nice rich response you're looking for? Um, I would say this is an instrument that I've just picked up and I am trying for the first time and it's sounding really lovely. It's a buffet vintage, the same as my own clarinet, um, but this particular instrument is the first one I've played. Um, but our final tip, kind of once you've tested it in the store, um, is if you can, always take it home, try it out at home as well, um, so that you're kind of listening to it in a room that you're used to. If you buy something from Dork's Music, of course, you always get 14 days um, approval. So you can take it home, try it out where you're comfortable, um, and just check that it's the right instrument for you.